Good evening and welcome to Two A Day on your Packer Link Up. Today is Tuesday, August 26th, and you're watching the 10 o'clock edition. Well, a uh, short Two A Day this evening uh, to finish your night up the right way. Uh, we want to simply talk about players to watch in this final preseason finale. In fact, focus on one player in particular. Uh, and then I will have some other announcements, and that will be pretty much it. We are coming to the end of our two-a-day two as we come to the end of the preseason. And uh, so uh, things are winding down a little bit, uh, but some important decisions in the making for the Packers. Uh, of course, as of... This, this week, the Packers had to cut five players to get their roster down from 80 to 75. And now the big challenge is going to be to cut that 75-player roster down to 53. And it will be a matter of a lot of people, a lot of hardworking professionals, a lot of uh, elite athletes walking into a small room to sit down with Co Coach McCarthy and find out that their time with the Green Bay Packers is at an end. So it's kind of a sad time this end of the preseason. Uh, of course, we got the exciting preseason finale coming up, but many players are going to be playing for their very jobs during this game. So, of course, our hearts go out to those guys that are going to get cut. It just has to happen. Um, and congratulations in advance to all of those who do make the team. Um, so, one player in particular that will sort of, it, it will be his make or break game on Thursday, I think, is going to be Craig Lumpkin, the running back out of Georgia, who was an undrafted free agent that the Packers picked up and have really been high on in, the tra in training camp, and a guy who has taken advantage of his opportunities in the family night scrimmage and preseason action. Craig Lumpkin uh, looking to stay here, um, and uh, I, I hope to see that. Uh, he has played well in the preseason games. Uh, I think that uh, this guy can really play the game of football. His, he stays behind his pads, so all of his power is working out in front of him, and yet at the same time, he is still able to make moves and make cuts. So a good performance on Thursday, of course, could give him that final roster spot as a tailback, perhaps over uh, Noah Heron, who's been with the team with a while, for a while, but really has not shown a lot of progress in recent years, So, and spent a lot of last year on um, injured reserve. So Craig Lumpkin, keep an eye on him in the Thursday game. Um, the, the, the deal with Lumpkin, though, is Craig has been in oftentimes against second- and third-string defensive players. On Thursday night, Jeff Fisher has said that the Titans are going to be playing their first string into the third quarter. So, with Lumpkin on the field more times and getting more reps, because McCarthy has said that the uh, first string for Green Bay is probably going to only play part of the first quarter. So they're going to be pulling them off very quickly, probably to uh, preserve them from any more injuries. We can't afford any more. It's probably a good way to go, and it gives him a chance to take a good, solid look at how the second and third stringers would be second and third stringers for the Green Bay Packers will look playing against starters for another team from the Tennessee Titans. So it will be an important game for Craig Lumpkin. It will be very insightful to watch him play against the Tennessee first string. Uh, my uh, heart goes out to him. I, I hope he has a good game. I really don't want to see Noah Heron go, but I think that this game will possibly be the end for Noah Heron and the beginning of a career with the Green Bay Packers for Craig Lumpkin. Just something we'll have to watch. Of course, the coaches make the final decision on that. But I will say this. When Edgar Bennett was asked about whether Craig Lumpkin has a real chance to make this roster, he uh, didn't even hesitate to say yes. Yes, he does. He has a chance. And then to go over all the good things. Um, Lumpkin has made his share of mistakes, but he has also performed when we needed him. I think in particular of the one-yard run on fourth and one uh, against uh, the 
against the uh, Denver Broncos. Um, Lumpkin stepped out and had to make a move on one person, had to beat one guy, and he beat that person and walked into the end zone. That's the kind of thing coaches are looking for. Uh, so it, lots of interesting players to keep an eye on, but that one in particular. Uh, also, some just other news. Uh, KGB's knee was sore after practice. It almost looks like he may be questionable for the season opener against the Vikings. Now, this is a big blow to our defense. Uh, KGB comes in on those third and long situations, passing downs, and as a speed rusher, really adds an element to our defense that we don't have. We can move Cullen Jenkins to the inside to get that push in the middle and have KGB rounding around the outside end to meet Aaron Campman in the middle. It's, uh, it's not going to be good if he can't make it against the Vikings, and I hope he does. Um, but, again, his knee's sore, and I think McCarthy is right. He's always conservative with these veteran players to not push them into the fray too early. So I have nothing against that. I just hope that uh, his knee responds better after some practicing and some work, and he's able to make that game. Also, a final note, uh, Noah Heron apparently got into it with Colin Jenkins during practice today, and the I don't know what it was all about, but in the end, Heron turned his back, walked away, and then sort of slung the ball backwards and hit Cullen Jenkins in the groin, we'll say groin, and left Cullen Jenkins stooped over and in pain. So I just think, I don't know if this is frustration due to the possibility that Noah will not be on the team after Thursday. I hope it isn't, um, but Something going on, a little bit of mixing it up in training camp. That happens all the time, but why be throwing the ball at one of your own players? Save that for the game on Thursday. You're going to need all your energy for that. So uh, one final note as a, a link-up spotlight. I do want to mention to everybody, uh, all of our blogs and our articles have a spot for you to comment on. People that write the articles for the Packer link-up really love to hear someone respond to them. Hey, good, bad, or indifferent, it's just nice to know that you're out there, that you care enough to put a little sentence down and let us know what you think. There's a lot of new people coming on, new members coming on daily, uh, starting a blog. Um, let them know. Give them an encouraging line. If, you, if something resonates with you, uh, let, let the author know that you appreciate it. If you disagree with something, of course, we don't want the link up to get into uh, any kind of just pure negativity that we've seen on other sites. Uh, but if you disagree, that's perfectly fine. Um, make your case. Um, your opinions count on the link up. This is your site. So uh, from now on, you know you've got a chance to go and make your opinion known. So uh, get on, uh, make a comment or two, start a blog, become a member today. And until tomorrow, I will be signing off for tonight, and until next time, go Pack!